hello guys we're back again with another tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to download the trading signals app so what this app contains is uh, actually trading signals that you can use on various brokers so we give out forex synthetic indices commodities and cryptocurrency signals so if you trade any of these feel free to download it first thing we want to do is we have to open our play store at the moment the app is currently only available on android so let's open the google play store once you're in your google play store just search for boom and crash trading signals or just boom and crash once you search you have your results down there the first one right here just after the two ads is the ultimate signals app so its name is boom and crash trading signals the actual name is trading signals so as you go down you can have a look at some reviews they are quite interesting yeah so just read through to be encouraged I like the fact that these guys take time to read apps it means a lot to us as uh, app owners yeah also take a look at the screenshots just to get an insight of what you're about to experience once you're done with that hit install the package is really small just about 6.8 mbs unlike most apps where you find they're more than uh, 50 mbs this shouldn't break the space on your phone so once you're done installing it you will simply open it then you'll be greeted by the splash screen so the splash screen is the first screen there that shows the name and the loading bar then we have our simple login system here this is my main focus for this tutorial many users come to my inbox telling me they are unable to log in so this should come in handy to help you quickly log in the login process takes less than three minutes so once you're here you've got your language selection tab there We've got English, Spanish, French, Hindi, Portuguese, Arabic. You can choose your preferred language. The app makes it easy for you to relate with the content. Then when you're done selecting the language, the easiest and fastest way to log in is using Google Login. So Google Login, you simply press this G, then select your email, and boom, you'll be in. Then the second login method is the email login. This one requires that you first register, then log in so if it's your first time let's just close this if it's your first time click on register enter your name here the, your email address and the password once you're done with entering those click on register then the app will quickly log you in when the registration is complete but for returning users when you come back you find you want to input your email there then it tells you something wrong or bad formatting this is common on Samsung and Huawei phones. So the thing is, your keyboard adds a space right in front of your email or your password when you do an autocomplete uh, input. So to avoid this, it's either you type in individual letters of your email and password or select your autocompletion, then just make sure you remove the space in front of your email and your password. Then you can quickly log in. Once you do that, the app will be ready for you to use if you still have problems logging in uh, we have this tab at the bottom which enables you to contact us once you do that we'll be glad to respond to you and assist you accordingly